Ciao, sono Andrea Salvioli. Hello, I'm Andrea Salvioli, product specialist at DB Technologies. In this video, I'll analyze the criteria needed to choose the transmission power of transmitters used in wireless systems. Professional radio microphones can adjust transmission power. This is due to the different regulations applicable in various countries and to solve reception problems in given situations, as I'll explain later. It is commonly believed that the higher the transmission power, the higher the reach of a transmitter. Actually, this particular tenant is not always true. Much depends on the type of setup we are installing. In order to deal with this issue, you need to understand first that every receiver works best only if the inbound signal has suitable intensity. If signal intensity is too low, the receiver won't read it. On the other hand, if the signal intensity is too high, then the receiver input will be in a state of saturation. This allows you to understand that excessively high transmission power is not always good. On the contrary, in some cases, excessive power can compromise the operation of the system. Let us have a look at a few practical installation examples. The most common case is a single system made up of a transmitter and a receiver installed at close distance. Once a free channel has been selected, then a low frequency level can be used, usually around 10 milliwatt. In a highly disturbed situation, in order to make sure the transmitter bypasses the disturbance, it may be set to a higher power, usually around 50 milliwatt. In this case, the installation of an attenuator is recommended on the antenna line for the whole inbound signal to be suitably received. The transmitter will still have higher power than the disturbance and therefore the signal will still be received. Thus, the receiver input is not saturated with an excessive signal and the features of our system can be used to full potential. Alternatively, a directive system may be used. Directing the reception focus in a given way may reduce the intensity of disturbance. As a consequence, the transmission power won't have to be turned up too much, as it may saturate the receiver input. In case of many transmitters in the same system, if they are all set at high power, then the receiver may saturate. Therefore, I recommend using reduced power levels or, as in the previous case, resort to an attenuator. Higher power, in turn, is recommended in case all transmitters should be at a great distance from the receivers. Here's the explanation why it is not advisable to always have a very strong signal into the receiver. In some cases, it is enough to use transmitters set at low power in order to make the most of your wireless system. Goodbye and see you in the next video.